It's a mess. Idaho car dealership leaves customers in debt without wheels. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. As reported by KTVB Channel 7 out of Idaho, a class action lawsuit alleges Bird Dog Motors sold cars to more than 30 people without providing them with their titles. That's a mess indeed. And more news about another crooked dealer too, friends. In the case of this Boise car dealership known as Bird Dog, a lack of answers has left customers and their banks demanding a refund. A class action lawsuit alleges Bird Dog Motors sold cars to more than 30 people without providing a title for their vehicles. I'm sitting here with a smile on my face because a well-known term in the car business is a bird dog. Right. It was in reference to the fee a car dealer paid to someone for referring a buying customer there. Yep, I remember that. Idaho citizen Hunter Allen claims he is the latest victim of the complicated used car scam, telling KTVB the dealership took thousands of dollars from him and his bank. It's a mess, Allen said. Everybody is pointing fingers. No solutions. Allen wants solutions regarding a 2016 Infiniti Q50 specifically. He found the vehicle to be just right for driving in the gem state and purchased it in June 2022. Nice car, all-wheel drive. It was going to be perfect for the winter, he said. Allen took out a $20,000 loan from Idaho Central Credit Union to take it home on the same day. However, it did not last long. I mean, I've been without a vehicle for six months and paying for one, Allen said. Burdog Motors sold him the car, but Allen said the dealership never gave him or Idaho Central Credit Union, ICCU, the title. Normally, Bird Dog would have signed the title over to ICCU during or shortly after the sale. My bank came looking a month later, Allen reported, asking, where's the title at? It turns out another bank owns the title. Farm Bureau Financial Services holds an outstanding lien on the Infinity. They repossessed it in September 2022. Well, that sucks. Yeah. The surprising development left Allen with a legal obligation to pay off a car loan for a car that he does not have. Oh. I spend all this money on interest and the 20000 and I don't get a title, Allen said. ICCU doesn't have a title for me. I don't get a car. Seems just a smidge unfair. Court documents show Bird Dog's insurance company is suing the dealership. The lawsuit names 34 people who may be in the same position as Allen, and the insurance company does not want to pay any of them. But the insurance bond is only worth $20,000, oh. a mere pittance, and Allen's share of the payout would only be a few hundred bucks. Oh. Shane Bengochi, Allen's attorney, told KTVB the legal fees required to fight the insurance company are not worth it because there is such a small amount. One reason I took the case, I realized it wasn't a mess he had gotten himself into, it was somebody else's mess he ended up getting into. Bengochi tried to work with Allen's bank, ICCU, and Farm Bureau Insurance which owns the title, he said the easiest solution is for one of the banks to waive its lien and voluntarily forfeit the car. Right. However, the potential solution has been a tough sell. Farm Bureau has a title, Bengochi said. They're like, well, too bad, so sad for you. We've got the title to the car. Such a nice insurance company. Uh -huh. A 2004 case in Kootenai County District Court shows a similar situation, but district court decisions hold no legal precedent in another district. So... There's no way to know for certain if Allen's case will be successful. Bengochi said, So the only way he can resolve this is to go through litigation. The thing is, by the time he goes through litigation, he's going to spend more than the car. At this point, Allen said he doesn't want anything to do with the car since the Infinity has already switched hands and has been repossessed. The loan just needs to go, he said. Court documents show the state of Idaho filed a lawsuit against Bird Dog's owner, Adam Bain, in March 2022 for a vehicle dealer lien satisfaction violation. So, there's some history here. True to form, Bain failed to appear at his most recent court date in September 2022. Public records show the judge ordered a warrant for his arrest two days later. Bird Dog Motors was originally located on the corner of Curtis Road and Overland Road in Boise. On that site today is a new business called On the Spot Auto Detail, and you can only imagine a few hostile people showing up there. Yeah, it kind of sucks to be odd in the spot right yeah. now. That has happened, but On the Spot has no relation to Adam Bain, but the new owner told KTVB that people are indeed coming to the location upset, looking for Bain with Bird Dog. According to attorney Ben Gochi, finding Bain does not solve Allen's problem either. Bengochi said he's not going to be able to pay it back unless he wins the lottery or something. I don't know how he is going to pay it back. That's why I tell people that if you're going for somebody, you need to think about it. If they take out bankruptcy, if they don't have any assets, you may get a judgment that is worth nothing. Back with more on this story right after this message from our very own Mary Jo. Hello, I am Mary Jo from the Homework Guy team. 
Don't Kevin and Elizabeth do a great job? We are so proud of every show our team puts out, carefully researched for accuracy and designed to help part wires just like you. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell so you get notifications of upcoming shows. Thank you for listening. And by the way, if you haven't already noticed, check out the light pattern on our ceiling. Pretty cool, huh? The Idaho Transportation Department, ITD, did strip Bird Dog Motors of its dealership license in July 2022. ITD spokesperson Ellen Matilla said, I will say that there are multiple complaints filed against this dealer about vehicles they couldn't get the titles for. ITD recommends Gem State residents check the status of the car title they are interested in buying to protect themselves. Right. Idahoans can run the VIN on the Transportation Department's website to see if there is an outstanding lien. True, and it's something any car buyer out there in any other state can do too. So just be aware of that, friends. Run the VIN to see if there's an outstanding lien. In the case of the 2016 Infiniti Q50, ITD clearly shows the car is owned by a bank, despite the sale application from Bird Dog Motors saying otherwise. For what it's worth, the situation has gotten the attention of the Better Business Bureau and its Chief Innovation Officer, Dale Dixon. Not worth all that much, actually. Yeah. Dale Dixon said, we have a notice up there. Hey, be aware if you're trying to do business here, please do your research. Know the business. Start at BBB.org. Look at the business profile. See what the business is doing with other customers, Dixon said. We do an in-depth vetting of every business on the website to make sure it is appropriately licensed and it's giving customers a good experience. Man, I could hardly spit those words out. Well, that certainly is a pile of crap from the BBB, a <laughs> membership-driven organization totally serves businesses, not actual consumers. Sure. The BBB isn't worth the used toilet paper. Their membership papers are written on, oh, ouch. <laughs> quite frankly. Oh, well, Bangochi said the research was actually ICCU's responsibility. He asked, who goes in to buy a car and thinks that when they go to purchase the car, when they get a loan, their lender isn't protecting them somehow? Alan told KTVB Channel 7 his loan officer was new and he didn't know all the things about getting a loan. <laughs> At the very least, it's something for Alan to learn from moving forward. However, a little too late at this point. Yeah, he's been fighting it ever since. Alan said his bank is charging more in his payments because he does not hold insurance on the car he does not own. <laughs> Alan has stopped making car payments in response, which is hurting his credit. Bad move right there, Mr. Allen. The loan officers at ICCU and Farm Bureau did not return calls at the time of this report. Idaho Attorney General Raul Labrador responded to KTBV with the following statement. Labrador and bird dog. What a great combination. <laughs> okay, stop. <laughs> His statement reads, My office has opened an investigation into bird dog motors. While we do not comment on ongoing cases, protecting consumers is one of our top priorities. I will not tolerate deceptive business practices. Businesses operating in this state need to act with integrity, and if found to be conducting business in bad faith, the perpetrator will face the full force of the law. The AG's office also shared advice for people like Alan in this statement. If a consumer called our office and reported similar allegations that are highlighted, we would recommend that the consumer A, file a complaint with our office, B, file a complaint with ITD if the dealer is a licensee, C, file a complaint with the BBB, and D, file a complaint with the Internet Crime Complaint Center if the consumer purchased the car through the internet from a spoofed dealer website, and E, consult with a private attorney about his legal rights and options. For example, the consumer may be able to make a claim against the dealer's bond or the Idaho Consumer Asset Recovery Fund, ICAR Fund, see Idaho Code 49-1608B. Idahoans can also fill out a consumer complaint and request for investigation through the Idaho Transportation Department. It seems like stories like this crop up in batches. Just days ago was the Big Red Dealership Group and their general manager, Andy Elliott, and here's the bird dog guy from Idaho scamming customers. What a sucky business the automobile business <laughs> is. It draws the ethical bottom dwellers like a pile of crap draws flies. Remember, if you want to make sure you hear from us, you need to subscribe and hit the notification bell. You can also connect with us on Facebook. If you want more in-depth information, please visit our website, thehomeworkguy.com. A lot of frequently asked questions can be answered on our website. When you get there, scroll down the main page to find tons of free downloads designed to help you get through the process of buying a car without getting ripped off. Lastly, if we've helped you save time and money finding a car, consider leaving a tip to help us help the next person. You'll see a super thanks button just below the video, and there are links for making a tip in the description box. You can easily find them by clicking on the Read More button seen below. Thank you. All right, if you're new here at the Homework Guy channel, as Mary Jo and Elizabeth just said, 
Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Join our fast growing group of subscribers and become a part of our family. Thanks everyone for coming back and to all of our faithful subscribers out there. You guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, signing off with Amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. The homework guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.